Chef Mark McCrow, and this is My Home Kitchen. Big day today. We're hitting the seas with the Saltwater Society fishing tours and hunt for my main ingredient. We're doing a grilled adobo codfish cooked right over the open fire with fat back corn tortillas, a fresh pecan de gallo, and lime pickled onions. We got boats, we got beaches, and we got buds. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> It's a couple of fish tacos right there. <laughs> Welcome to my little beach kitchen. We're gonna dive into a Yucatan style grilled adobo fish. But first we gotta start with some sides. So we're gonna do a fresh pico de gallo. We're gonna do some lime pickled onions. Then we're gonna mix together a masa dough, make some fresh corn tortillas, roast them right on this rock here. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start by slice the top, the bottom off. And we're just gonna make some nice little slices on a lengthwise. All right, so we got the onions. We're just gonna to wanna to give them a little blanch in some salted water. That's gonna take away the harshness of the onion. Then we're gonna dress it with some fresh lime juice. A little bit of kosher salt. All right, so our onions have been cooking for about a minute just to take out the rawness. We're gonna fish them out into a little bowl here. Then we're gonna hit them with a little bit of fresh peppercorn. Just a few to add a little bit of spice. A little bit of dried bay leaf. Gonna go in with a couple of juiced limes. We got a little lime juicer. Just gonna squeeze those right over. Doing about three limes. A nice big pinch of kosher salt. And maybe just a little bit of that cooking liquid, just to cover them. So we'll give those a nice little toss. And we'll set these aside for later. So every good taco needs a good salsa. So we're just gonna do a real simple fresh pico de gallo. We're gonna start with about a Half of red onion. And I'm just gonna give it a quick dice. So we got a real nice little dice of red onion right on into our bowl. Next, a nice little jalapeno pepper. I'm just gonna take the tail end off and I'm just gonna fillet it by rolling it on the cutting board and sawing my knife along the bottom, pulling out the seeds. The seeds are what makes it spicy, so you just wanna get rid of any of those seeds. Lay it flat on the board and just cut some nice little strips. Take your strips, turn them around the other way, and we'll get a nice little dice. Boom. Jalapenos in. Another lime juice right on in. A little dash of Mexican hot sauce. A couple of diced Roma tomatoes. It's gonna cut some nice little slices. And same thing as the jalapeno, just turn it into a nice little dice. Tomatoes in. A nice little bunch of fresh cilantro. Just tear it off, bundle it up, and again, nice little choppy chop. Cilantro in. A little oil to tie it all together. Season it with some kosher salt. A little cracked fresh pepper. A nice little stir up and we'll give it a taste. Perfect. So we got the lime pickled onions, we got our beautiful pico de gallo. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna mix up a little masa corn dough to make our tortillas. This is masa harina, it's a white cornmeal flour. I'm gonna go in with about four cups of the flour right into our bowl. I'm gonna make a little well in the middle and we just wanna pour in some water. What we're looking for is like a Play-Doh consistency. All right, so our dough's coming together. We got just enough water to hydrate it. It comes together in a ball. It's not sticking to your hands when you form it. So that's perfect. I'm just gonna cover it with a clean towel. We're gonna set that aside for later. All right, we're breaking out the big guns. The mortar and pestle's coming out. We're about to make the adobo marinade, which is a fiery chili paste that we're gonna smear on our cod before we roast it over the fire. So I'm gonna start with a nice big clove of garlic. 
Just gonna take the tip off, smash it with my knife, give it a little rough chop, get it right into our mortar and pestle and just start bashing it. Get in there and bash it up. Want to form it into a nice little paste. A little pinch of salt helps it get abrasive and really get that garlic smashed up. Boom, we got some really nice pureed garlic. Now, next to the story is a little bit of uh, canned chipotles and adobo. Take about one of these little bad boys right on in there. And then same thing, bring all that together, crushing down those chilies, the garlic. We got salt, we got a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Really nice apple cider vinegar, just to give it that tang, right on in. Now we got some spices, we got some cumin seeds. We're gonna go with about a half teaspoon of fresh cumin seeds. A little bit of dried oregano. Literally a pinch of cinnamon. Dried ancho is pureed up into a nice little powder. I'm gonna go about four tablespoons of the ancho chili powder. A little splash of Mexican beer. A little bit of fresh tomato paste, just to make it real nice and spreadable. About two tablespoons right on in. And we're just gonna bring that paste together. Get in and have a look at this. Perfect for smearing over our cod filet. All right, guys, so we got our cod, beautifully fresh, right out of the water. Just gonna pat it dry a little bit. And to fillet cod, you wanna start in behind the gills. Just run your knife back, right down till you meet the first spine bone. Get your knife in behind, following that spine bone. Run it right down the length of the spine bone. So I wanna come up about halfway and just start scoring along that bone. Then I wanna run my knife the other way just to take off that first filet. One beautiful filet of cod, ready to go, fresh out of the water. So for this, guys, I'm gonna start with one filet, flat on the board. We're just gonna cut away some of this belly, and there's a couple little bones in there. So we're gonna get our knife in, trim away that little bit of belly. And if you feel the filet, you'll notice cod got a little bit of a bone going right down the middle. So you wanna do a little V cut just to trim those bones out. So run right down along the bones. They run up to about halfway. So I'm just gonna go alongside, and then along the other side in the V. And there you have it, one perfect filet, ready to go. So I'm gonna go back to our adobo paste and just lather it on up. Just smear it all over top. All that ancho chili paste, that little bit of vinegar, all the garlic, the chipotle peppers. And I got this dandy little fish basket lined with a little bit of banana leaf. So we're gonna open it up, get our filet nestled right in there. Right before we put it on, a little bit of extra kosher salt just to season her up. Put it flush side down, right over the open fire. Just get it grilling. All right, my dudes, the fish is grilling. Next up, we're gonna get back to those corn tortillas. So we got our massive flour. We got our little tortilla press here, which I like to line with a little bit of plastic. So I just took a Ziploc bag, cut it into a little square. So I'm just gonna start rolling out six or seven golf ball sized pieces. The mass is forming a ball, but it's not sticking to my fingers, so we should be good with that. So before we put the tortillas on, we got a little chunk of salt pork fat. We're just gonna put on the rock just to grease it up a little bit. And that'll help cook those tortillas nicely and they won't stick and it'll add a real nice little salty flavor to them. Oh yeah, our rock's nice and oiled up, guys, so we're gonna start banging out some tortillas. So we'll put our plastic down, a little ball of mass on top, fold your plastic over, and just press down. And voila, one beautiful tortilla, and right on. Plastic down. Fold it over, give it a nice little press, gently take it off, and onto your rock. So we got a nice little char on our fish, we're just gonna flip it over, cook it on the other side for about five minutes, keep an eye on our tortillas, flip them in on about two more minutes, and we'll almost be ready to put this thing together. Another minute on this side, then we're gonna flip them over one more time, and then toast them on the grill. So they're looking nice and toasty, guys. We're gonna take them off, set them in a towel, cover them up, and they'll finish steaming. So I'm gonna bang out a few more tortillas, get a nice little pile going, finish our fish, then we're gonna plate this thing up, so stick with me. 
All right, we got our tortillas wrapped up in a nice little towel, staying warm off to the side. Our fish is just ready, looking nice and charred on the outside. We're gonna plate this little bad boy up. So I got a nice platter lined with some banana leaf, and we're just gonna slide our filet right out onto the platter, like so. So here's the deal. We got our cod plattered off. We're gonna go in with some of that fresh peak of the gallo right on top. Just spoon it right on top. Then we're going in with those lime pickled onions. A little pile off to the side, a few right on top. We got our warm tortillas. I'm gonna go back to our marinade and just kiss it with a little extra marinade right on top. And we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start building one of these little bad boys. So let's go get our tortillas. They're nice and warm. Just gonna unveil these. Fire roasted tortillas. One down on your platter. You're gonna wanna go in and just get a nice little chunk of that cod right on your tortilla. Make sure you get that peak of the gallo. And you know I like it spicy, so I'm gonna go with a little dab of habanero hot sauce. And I'm just gonna go for it, guys. Beautiful fresh cod flaking apart. We got the pico de gallo, the onions, the adobo marinade, beautiful toasted corn tortilla. I'm gonna go in for a bite. Mm. Oh man, oh my God, the fish is perfectly cooked. The chilies are coming through, super flaky. Tortilla is really nice. Tacos are sick. I'm gonna chef up a few more for my buds. I wanna thank the Saltwater Society for taking us out here today. And thanks for watching My Home Kitchen. We'll see you next time.